let's take the number seven and divide it by three. And I'm going to conceptualize dividing by three as let me see how many groups of three I can make out of the seven. So let's imagine, let me draw seven things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let me try to create groups of three. So I can definitely create one group of three right over here. I can definitely create another group of three. So I'm able to create two groups of three. And then I can't create any more full groups of three. I have essentially this thing right over here left over. So this right over here, I have this thing remaining. This right over here is my remainder after creating as many groups of three as I can. And so when you see something like this, people will often say seven divided by three. Well, I can create two groups of three, but it doesn't, it doesn't divide evenly, or three doesn't divide evenly into seven. I end up with something left over. I have a leftover, I have a remainder. I have a remainder of one. So this is literally saying seven divided by three is two remainder one. And that makes sense. Two times three is six. So it doesn't get you all the way to seven, but then if you have your extra remainder, six plus that one remainder gets you all the way to seven. Let's do another one. Let's imagine 15 divided by, divided by four. Let me draw 15 objects. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now let me try to divide it into groups of four. So let's see, that's one group of four. That's another group of four. And then that's another group of four. So I'm able to create three groups of four, but then I can't create a fourth full group of four. I am then left with this remainder right over here. I have a remainder of, I have a remainder right over here of three. I have three left over. So we could say that 15 divided by four is three remainder three. Four goes into 15 three times. But that only gets us to 12. Four times three is 12. To get all the way to 15, we need to use our remainder. We have to get three more. So 15 divided by four, I have three left over. Now let's try to think about this doing a little bit of our long division techniques. So let's say that I have, let's say that I have four, let's say I want to divide 75 by four. Well, traditional long division techniques, four goes into seven one time, and we're really, if you're looking at place value, we're really saying that four is going into 70 10 times, because we're putting this in the tens place. And then we say one times, we say one times four is four, but really, once again, since it's in the tens place, this is really representing a 40. But either way, we subtract four from the seven, we get a three, and then we bring down, we bring down this five. And we say four goes into 35. Well, let's see, four times eight is 32. Four times nine is 36, that's too big. So it goes eight times. Eight times four is 32. You subtract 35 minus 32 is three. And four doesn't go into three anymore. So here I have this three left over. I have a remainder of three. So you could say that 75 divided by four is equal to 18 is equal to 18 remainder three.